Welcome to eMedia Podcast, Emmanuel Church's very own podcast platform. Here, you'll find our latest sermon series and our weekly podcast show episodes based on a variety of topics impacting us here on Delmarva and around the world. Every single week, together, we'll unpack those topics, ranging from the fun and lighthearted stuff to even the more serious discussions. But we'll use the Word of God as our guide. Be sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, download the Emmanuel Church app so you're staying up to date with all that's happening here at Emmanuel Church. Now, here's our latest episode from the eMedia Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Devos with Pastor D. Today, I'm excited to have Devin here joining me for this podcast. For those of you that don't know Devin, she is a youth leader here at Emmanuel Fruitland, is doing a wonderful job, and I wanted her to come today on the podcast so we could have a discussion about something that I feel, I feel like is uh, gripping many of us today, and that is fear. And I wanted her to be here so we could talk it out because, you know, fear looks differently for all of us. Um, there's different things that we are afraid of, but I feel like right now the main thing that is really gripping us is fear with the p- pandemic that has taken place with the whole coronavirus. And, you know, fear can look like for many of us right now, you know, fear of the uncertainty of our future, you know, our jobs, our kids. Um, And maybe for some of you, you're like, man, I'm not even, I, I have no fear whatsoever of the pandemic. Fear looks different for me. Right now, fear is the approval, having the approval of others, or fear is failure in my life. You know, I'm scared of that. It, it may look different for you, but I feel like as Christians, a lot of us, we say that we trust God and fear is coming and it's gripping us, but we're not acknowledging it and we need to run from it and we need to realize that we have power to overcome it um, through Christ. And the enemy right now is, is so... Um, on the run and on the go in our lives with fear and he wants to keep us held at hostage in it and uh, I wanted to talk to Devin today as we go back and forth about what fear right what we think that fear is doing right now uh, with many of us and the the grip that it has the effect it has and we want to talk a little bit about some scriptures and things that we want to give you to help deal with fear so Devin thank you again for joining me today for this podcast and I wanted you to share a little bit about fear and what's your take on it right now. Yeah, so fear looks different for everybody, yes. like as you already said, but a scripture that really stands out to me about fear is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. You know, fear does not come from God, as that says in that verse, but it comes from the enemy in an attempt to cloud our judgment yes. and our perspective. And so it's such an easy thing to consume ourselves with, especially in the times of the unknown, like with the pandemic and jobs and um, school and stuff like that. Yeah. It's in the times of that when the enemy comes in with these what if situations, yes. you know, well, what if this happens and what if that happens and, you know, you're not necessarily in control. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of a hard um, subject to grasp a lot of the time. You know, fear has the tendency to take us captive instead of us taking it captive. Yes. Um, but a big fear that I've talked a lot with the teens about and um, just different people I've heard talk about it in general is death. And, you know, the fear of death of um, you or death of a loved one or somebody close to you. Um, And what is so um, important about that is that, you know, that's not scary when you have Jesus because Jesus already bridged that gap for us. And that's uh, that's why we have heaven and we know that we will be reunited someday with our loved ones and everybody and we Mm -hmm. will rejoice. Right. And so that is so it turns not into a scary thing anymore, but more of an exciting thing of that that we have to look forward to. That's right. And so I, that's one thing that um, really caught my eye when I was talking to people. I was like, oh, I have to share that because yeah. that a lot of people can relate to that. Um, so what I love so much about this verse in 2 Timothy is that we have the power to take our thoughts captive. You know, God gives us that power and to accept that they aren't from God and to change our perspective. That's right, Devin. And I, one thing that you were sharing is about how the enemy you know, we don't have to be scared right now. and But the enemy is using it so much. Like, I, I know that we need to protect ourselves. I know that we need to be careful. And I, I get all that. But at the same time, the enemy is using this virus 
to completely um, grab people's attention so much that their eyes are on that and not on God. And he's, he's, he's with us the whole time. And like you said, we don't have to be afraid of that because we know if we are to leave here and we are to die, we can spend eternity with yeah. him. So we have to, yes, be careful. But at the same time, I, that's why I wanted to do this podcast because I feel like the enemy is using it as a tool to defeat God's chosen people. And if we're not careful, we can focus so much on the fear instead of trying to overcome it with our faith. And I know we're going to talk about that more than the next episode that we do. But um, I, as you were talking about um, fear earlier and about this whole virus, and I, I had a conversation again uh, with someone on Saturday who said, you know, I was really scared, Pastor David, because I thought that the coronavirus had come into my home and I have elderly parents and he said, but someone gave me this verse and, and he said, it changed my thoughts completely. And I wanted to share it with you as fear kind, kind of is coming against us right now through this coronavirus. It's actually a whole chapter. It's uh, Psalms 91. I'll make it quick. But it says, live under the protection of God most high and stay in the shadow of God all powerful. Then you will say to the Lord, you are my fortress, my place of safety. You are my God and I trust you. The Lord will keep you safe from the secret traps, listen to this, and deadly diseases. He will spread his wings over you and keep you secure. His faithfulness is like a shield of a city wall. You won't need to worry about dangers at night or arrows during the day, and you won't fear diseases that strike in the dark or sudden disasters at noon. You will not be harmed Though thousands fall around you, and with your own eyes you will see the punishment of the wicked. The Lord Most High is your fortress. Run to him for safety, and no terrible disasters will strike you or your home. God will command his angels to protect you wherever you go, and they will carry you in their arms, and you won't hurt, or you won't hurt your feet on the stones. You will overpower the strongest lions and the most deadly snakes. And the Lord says, if you love me and truly know who I am, I will rescue you and keep you safe. When you're in trouble, call out to me. I will answer and be there to protect you and honor you. You will live a long life and see my saving power. And when he read that the other day and he was talking about how he was standing on the scripture and standing on this particular book of the Bible and this chapter of Psalms 91, man, it, it fired me up because I thought so many people need to hear that right now. We need to come against the enemy, come against any thoughts that he tries to overwhelm us with, with fear, and realize that we can rejoice in knowing who we are in Christ and that God, his hand is upon us and he will protect us even in the middle of this pandemic. Hey, this has been such an awesome time sharing with you guys about fear. Today, we wanted to talk about fear, what it looks like, maybe what you're facing with fear, give you some hope, some scriptures that you can rely on. And then we want you to join in next time for the next episode. That will be part two of our conversation about fear. Let's pray today before we close out. Father, I thank you for who you are. And I thank you, God, that we don't have to be chained down to fear. Lord, we know who we serve and we know who we are in you. And today I pray for the one who's overwhelmed, the one who is just everywhere they turn, they see the statistics on the news, they see people around them who have been affected by this virus. And God, they simply are so afraid today. God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would give them peace and they would cling to your word, that they would know that you're our rock and you're our fortress and you're our deliverer. And Lord, you, we pray for protection upon anything that we face, any fear that might be gripping us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Divas with Pastor D, and we will see you next time.